Hi guys, so <laughs> we're trying something new with where we are recording and the time of day we are recording. Welcome to a new video. My name is Kwame. Hi, I'm Elaine. And as you probably already can see, some things have changed on the channel in terms of the branding. Let us know what you think about the name and uh, we're, we're, we're still trying things out. Yeah. So there's this person who posted a, I don't know, by the time you see this video, that person's comment would have been very old. But um, yeah, he, he's against the rebranding yeah. of the channel. But just for the people who um, don't know, I've set up um, another channel called Asitna. Ni Emo has talked about it before, I've talked about it before. And that is where I'm shifting most of my professional work as a filmmaker to. Now, this channel in particular has evolved because it was lifestyle, it was my freelance journey. It was still lifestyle. It's still lifestyle, I'm just saying. It was my freelance journey, productivity and everything. And every now and then, Elaine came on the channel. And at this point, people like the duo dynamic more. And we also like sharing Mm -hmm. our experiences with you so yeah that's where the channel is going we've already said that it was going to be an Elaine and Kwame channel but we didn't want the name to be Elaine and Kwame yeah well, so we we tossed around a lot of names and <laughs> when we're, we're seeing oh I don't I don't I don't where's your phone it's here okay you're gonna read the questions no yeah. it's fine we we know the questions by now no do you? Yeah. So today I thought it would be nice if you are following our videos. One of the things that keeps coming up or subtly keeps coming up is that uh, Kwame is a lot on his phone. And uh, we throw it around like a joke, <laughs> like I'm nagging and ha ha ha. But uh, for me, I thought uh, let's dive a little bit more into that topic of social media social media usage and how, and how it influences us yes and how it influences our life um so that's what we're going to talk about today yeah are you ready <laughs> <laughs> let me just put it out there that i'm gonna feel attacked throughout <laughs> the whole video it'll be fine but it's also um one of the reasons why we do this oh my, f my phone was actually here yeah one of the His reasons phone is never far away <laughs> One of the reasons why we do this, which is, you know, talk about the things that we experience and as uncomfortable or comfortable as it may be, as happy or unhappy or as serious or whatever, we do yeah. it. So today I'm on the podium. So basically. tell me about your relationship with social media. How do you use interviewed? it? No, I can chip in. Okay. How do you use it and... What does it bring you? Maybe that's a good question. Mm. Okay. What's the question again? Social media, how do you use it and what does it yeah, bring Yeah, like how do you relate to it? Oh. Well, social media for me um, has grown to become something that <laughs> like the average uh, modern man or human or person. Something that you can almost not live without oh statement yeah <laughs> that's how that's how much of importance it is to me because mm -hmm. so before I, I was on air and it was an avenue for me to be out there on radio mm -hmm. and that was my work that was how i showed what i could do mm -hmm. but i was earning a salary at the time so where the, uh, the change hits drastically was when I left, mm -hmm. which most people would say you left at your peak. And I just thought, mm -hmm. well, no, you I don't, don't agree with that. that because, yeah. um, um, anyway, that's a different topic. Topic whole, yeah. altogether. But yeah, so when I left, I needed to, um, I had built some kind of social, cap uh, social currency or mm -hmm. capital yeah. that I needed to kind of like... Um, keep up with because now I wasn't earning a salary and I wasn't going to be having, you know, money come in mm -hmm. 
as frequently as I would or as constant as a salary. Yeah, like it's a freelance thing, so yeah. you... And I discovered that my presence on social media helped bring in jobs, bring in connections, mm -hmm. get inspired, meet other people, come across other creators, connect with them, you know. So social media, and, and it's more like what YouTube also is. The more you give... Yeah, so it's like a capitalistic thing. Yeah, right? the more you the more give it, yeah, the, more you, the more rewards you get. Yeah. So I put my work out there like, hey, I'm a voiceover artist. Listen to the sample audio I did. And in the space of a few weeks or a week or whatever it is, I get at least a call, if not two. Mm -hmm. We want you to do this voiceover for us and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So that's very functional, right? Yes. But on a personal level, like what does it bring you? On a personal level, there are, there are different characters on social media <laughs> that jokes, uh, yeah. serious conversations that you have, have not come across before, perspectives, news, mm -hmm. insights. So it's just a place to connect without connecting physically. And that's what it's become. And it, it, I think it also got worse when uh, the pandemic hit. Yeah, definitely. We yeah, became it got even worse. more digital. Yeah, we became way more digital. We've become way more digital in the, in the last two years than we've ever been because everything is at, the f at your fingertips. If it's not on your phone, it's on your TV screen. Streaming services have become multi-billion, yeah, if not possibly trillion uh, dollar industries. So it's, it's just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i think for me what it brings me okay so for me that may be good to describe my channels because i'm for example not on twitter uh i've never really gotten into that so i'm not on twitter facebook is for me a bit more like old school like i scroll through it wow. but i don't really do anything facebook there. people listen <laughs> Anyway, it's my personal thing, so everybody can comment on it, but that's how I do it. Uh, no Twitter, Facebook, very light. Then I am an Instagram girl. Do it for the gram. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I like about Instagram or how I built my Instagram is that I see a lot of different people. There are a lot of strong female personalities on my feed. Yeah. A lot of uh, creativity. So either artwork, readings, writings. Um, so it, for me, it's it's a place of, of comfort, but also because I'm following so many strong female personalities, also a place of like goal setting, more like aligning who I am, being your authentic self. That kind of that's kind of the space I created. And what I also like through Instagram, I find a lot of activities to do. So whenever there's something happening in Accra because I'm following the restaurant or because I'm following this person that's going there or is promoting this, then I, f I find out about this event or this live music thing or this yoga class. And, and then I just screenshot it and send it to my friends and then I'm going there. So for me, it's also like a, yeah, like a things to do. And I literally, sometimes people ask like, how did you find this place? And then I'm like, yeah, Instagram. <laughs> and yeah. I don't know, like, how. And, and uh, what do you mean you don't know how? I mean, you get recommended. It, it shows up on your feed based yeah. on your interests mm -hmm. and the people you follow and they've been there as well. And you, for one, you like travel. Mm -hmm. So your friends would recommend these things. And Yeah. It, yeah, it, yeah, it, that's it. how you find things. That's yeah. true. Yeah. So the exploring is definitely there. The inspiration is there. Um, yeah. So, so it, my so how what you said about like keeping up with it, I think that's my main concern about social media because me, for example, I've been struggling a bit with my own Instagram. So I've been trying to strategize it because I'm actually, I how you say I, <laughs> my words are gone. I'm 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 comfortable with communication, like communication strategies, these kind of things. So I set up this whole thing and then. I didn't feel it anymore and then I stopped posting for a while and then I was overthinking of why would I post something like that and then so it's also we we landed in this day and age where showing off is very normal also oh, the pressure is it yeah like that you're you should show up digitally as you are 
but I struggle with showing up digitally because I feel it's like a, a, a one dimensional thing. Okay. Um, so for me, it's diff So that's why I like YouTube because here we can give some context. While with Instagram, one picture, or one caption, and as you can see, my captions are actually really long because I like to write. So Instagram is not the, it's not the perfect channel for me. I think one of my <laughs> projects that I've been playing with is to set up my own newsletter because I need more space to express myself and I feel... So is the, YouTube doing that for you, for example? Yes, but I do feel I'm more tagging along with YouTube because you are there and... But you, we just started, so... Yeah, I know. Maybe it can grow into something. It definitely makes me more comfortable about speaking up, like speaking up about things yeah. because I'm like practicing to speak my mind, take up space. This is what I think. Yeah. Not necessarily to counter you, but I do talk more about it. But the keeping up for me, so the constant stream of information, sometimes I scroll down in one day to see who I've talked to on WhatsApp. Yeah. So many people. I'm like, like how like in no like maybe 20 years ago if i would have called one friend that would have been it right yeah so i also think the keeping up with it the pace is so fast and it looks like a lot of people have figured it out like how to manage it but i sometimes struggle with, with navigating it and also because i don't like to be on the screen for so long um, yeah but how do you feel about that screen time? Because I know yours is quite... <laughs> so I turn off my screen time, just so you know. Yeah, you turn off the counting, but I mean, you're still on the screen. That's what I mean what with screen time. Problem, eh? Let me, let me drink off. my coffee. <laughs> drink my coffee, my, my water. Yeah, my so baby. my screen time is still very high. And that's because it's either I'm on social media or my phone. Mm -hmm. And if I drop my phone to work, um, if I'm doing like I'm editing a film or even a vlog like this, mm -hmm. I can go like two, three hours on average to about eight hours, 12 hours yeah. on another screen, which is the editing uh, platform. So it's not always that I'm on social media, but when I, as soon as I drop that, I just feel like, yeah, I've not had any social interaction, so I should go back to the small screen, which is my social interaction and yeah. keep scrolling. So you have a lot of different trends, but like, and your screen time still yeah. accumulates. Yes, yeah. so I'm not like, uh, what's it? I'm not having physical contact or social, actual social interactions because it's either I'm working mm -hmm. or when I'm not working, I'm catching up on what's happening on social media, trying to yeah. get more work and everything. But every now and then, yes, you do meet people and the world has changed to the point where meeting people is a chore. You know, with all the fears of Corona and everything. Let me just say, the Corona, I, I don't hear of it a lot nowadays. I don't know what's happening. But uh, yeah, so my screen time is quite high. Yeah. Well, I think for me, my screen time is also high. Because I, How? during work, I'm often behind a computer because of a lot of the meetings are virtual. Of course, you... If you have meetings in the office, then of course it's with people. Yeah. But then a lot of communication is also on phone. I feel in Ghana, I don't know about other countries, but the analysis is not that much. Your WhatsApp is mostly for private things. And here in Ghana, I feel the line between professional and private contacts is very thin. So if that you want- That is why a lot of people are switching their accounts to business accounts and having- Yeah, uh, but I think it's really a trendy WhatsApp thing. private WhatsApp numbers. Yeah. So some of them, some people that um, have, to some extent, developed social anxiety from the whole WhatsApp and keeping up thing, mm. have turned those numbers into business numbers, which they barely interact if it's not about business. And they've got different SIM cards. Yeah. Which only a few people know for the, the kind of, you know, intimate interactions they want to have. Yeah. But I still think that a lot of business things are going through WhatsApp. Like if Here I think in Ghana. About, yeah, like yeah, that's that's very once true. Once people have your number, they'll just shoot you like, like, hey, how are you? Or happy that's, new year. Yeah. Like it's all business people. And I'm like, whoa. 
you know, calm down. Like, honestly, I, I struggle with keeping up with... It's a culture thing yeah. in terms of how people work. Yeah. Because I've realized that as well. Because for me, when I'm working, mm -hmm. I also like the ease of... Because I know I check WhatsApp messages as fast. It's prompt. And it's easy. Mm -hmm. Or whatever social media it is that can send the file or whatever it is. I can easily show you the file or make you listen or make you watch a sample or whatever it is. And we keep it moving. Yeah. I, I feel it's such a chore to email and wait for a response. And email has its own culture. Yeah. Email is such... It, for me, email is the, <laughs> it's the fakest <laughs> really? means of interaction. You are a completely different person on email. Yeah, that's like the, pro the mean that was there, like yeah. LinkedIn, Facebook, t yeah, Twitter. Like <laughs> professional. Meanwhile, like, yo, like... I. Like, did you check the file? Have you listened yeah. to it? Like, but what that, do you think? That, that pace, I have to, you have to uh, agree with me that the pace is quite high these days, right? It is, yes. Like, do, 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 if you don't respond, people are like, why are you not responding? And I also noticed that for me, like, bridging the distance between my friends in Ellis and, and myself being here, I want to take my time to message them. I don't want to say, oh, I'm fine, how are you? Because I don't see them... A lot so we have to keep up yeah and and then my messages are piling up <coughs> sorry i have to cough please please edit it out <laughs> no it's fine um so i feel that pressure to be like online all the time but it also i don't like that the machine is giving me orders so to say Sometimes when I put my phone away, for example, when I'm in the cinema or something, I put it like on airplane, airplane mode. mode. And then when I turn it on, I'm like, how many messages will I have? And sometimes it's like 80 messages in the one and a half hours. I was, um, what? I, 80 messages? Well, like, what is going on? That is, you get me? So we get so much information. So, it, it, sometimes it's just too much for me. Okay. So I, I'm guessing which of the social media platforms... Um, brings you the most in terms of activity what do you mean activity your notifications and whatsapp is the most right and honestly when i'm thinking about it i think on instagram i'm more an introvert so i like to like be inspired and i i send things to people dms and stuff like when i see some, i've talked about something and then i see something on my timeline i'll send it to my friend like oh we just talked about this or yeah. I recognize this in what we do. So that I like. And it's, the pace is slower, right? I only send you something when there's connection. But WhatsApp, I feel like... It's such a free space. And you people have... just keep sending stuff. And I'm like, whoa, like... I... Well, that's the reverse for me. Yeah. Why? My WhatsApp is... Not really. No. People so hit... it's Twitter. Yeah, people hit me up yeah. on WhatsApp when they literally have some business or something specific to talk about. Yeah. And that's not a lot. If I show you my WhatsApp right now, it's not because I've checked all my messages, but it's because sometimes I, I, I can go eight hours without having one WhatsApp message. Ah, so yeah. I'm the only one WhatsApping you? When you have to tell me something to do in the house or like, what are we doing? <laughs> okay, we also do lovey-dovey WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> It's not only chores. <laughs> yeah, like I'm just saying, or, 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 um, like what are we doing tonight? Or shall we go here? Or here? Yeah, yeah, and if I have to communicate with. Oh, I never knew. It's not a lot. My oh. WhatsApp is not a lot at all. So it's Twitter and. Twitter and Instagram. Mm. That's where, like, there's a DM, like, you know, people are sharing like minded mm. ideas or this, 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 yeah. or you post something and there's a discourse around it and, you know, people are mentioning. Yeah. So I'm constantly interacting with those people who I wouldn't uh, normally talk to yeah, so as so like, like acquaintances or friends on WhatsApp for long. Mm. So it's sharp conversations, but the thing is, it's, it keeps coming. Yeah. Yeah. But that, that keeps coming, for me, that's a bit of a problem. That's why I sometimes just put my phone away or put my, especially in the evenings, after I've had a whole day of a lot of screens, and then you come home to watch Netflix. No. <laughs> but then I, I just need to tune out of that constant uh, uh, stream of information. Bombardment. Yeah. And 
I'm sure people think I have so many issues with social media, but one thing I've realized is that, especially with long distance, so keeping in touch with my family, my friends, just call. You feel much closer when you call than a long WhatsApp message. This lady can be on the phone for like three hours. <laughs> yes, because we need to catch up. And, and she so can catch up with the, the same person today and catch up with the same person tomorrow and catch up with the same person the next day. Especially when Roseanne is on the phone or Colette. Yeah, my or, sisters. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, with my sisters I can talk every day. Or Sabine. Yes. I will and be then they can talk for two hours, three hours and she's here laughing. Ha ha! I'm like, bro. I can hear you from the studio. What the hell is going on? Yeah, because it's so fun. Like, honestly, that's what I... Maybe that's the problem for me with social media. I do connect. But because it's digitally, like, it doesn't make me, like... So you as, like to as, hear the person. Yeah, the tone, the voice. I do a lot of voice notes lately. I know there's so many arguments about voice notes. People hate it. People love it. But for me, I like it because you can listen to it when you have the headspace for it. And then, uh, so for example, with one of my friends, we do these podcasts, <laughs> podcasts to one another. So when we have time, we, we do a voice message. note, like five minutes, 10 minutes. Then the other person listens. Thank if you. I see a five Thank minute you for your voice podcast. note, I would freak out. Like, what? No, it's nice because then, so for example, then I'll make my coffee like this. I do... And then I just listen to the podcast and listen to how my friend is doing. And then I'm like, okay, okay, can I respond to this or respond to this? And then, okay. So you do have your positives for your liking social media? Yeah, there are small things. But are these small things, they, they seem quite important to you. Yeah, because, I mean, otherwise I would never speak to my friends anymore. Because you cannot see a person once a year and expect to have a friendship. Maybe with a few people. But I also want to know what's going on in their lives. And... I mean, everybody is evolving and changing. Are you hot? No, I'm not hot. Oh, sorry. When I put my hand here, I feel like the microphone is creeping up on my neck. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, so what are the negatives, you think? Yeah, for me, the pressure to keep up all the time. That's really my main thing. Oh my and God. this always being on the screen. I'm really curious. I don't know if our viewers, our viewers are so ridiculous. If, if you're watching this, if you recognize that, that we're a lot on a screen without even noticing it. I was even thinking, so I do yoga in the morning, but how I do it, um, I have my own routine, but sometimes I feel like I want to listen to somebody. So I put YouTube on my phone and do the yoga. Another screen. <laughs> then I go to work, laptop. Do you think then, it's about time we accept it? Or you think that this is I, not? So for me, I feel very drained if I don't move my body and do something that has nothing to do with the screen. For example, that's why I like cooking from time to time because you're just cutting vegetables, meat, like you're just like in a whole different zone. There's no screen anywhere. Same with reading. So I bought these, <laughs> grandma was laughing at me because this week I bought jigsaw puzzle. jigsaw puzzles. Um, because I was like, I, I want to do something that has literally nothing to do with the screen and just like ease my mind a bit. And I thought, why not puzzles? I loved puzzles as a kid. So I, d I started a little bit, but I didn't come far yet. Maybe tonight. <laughs> you know, can't foul. <laughs> you know, can't foul. You don't do anything. But so you feel you've accepted that we are on screens a lot. And I should just accept that you are on screens a lot. No, not just accept it. I mean, of course, there's a negative when it actually in interferes with the quality of life. Yeah, I but do, where, where is agree. that line? Because for me, that line, I exceed that line a lot. In my own yeah, I do. Being. But then it's the difficulty is that you've gotten used to it. Yeah. And you can't like, you do know that, yes, it's, it's actually bad. That sometimes you have work to do and you start a video or this conversation and you go through this thread and boom, rabbit hole and you spent one hour. Whoa. And then it keeps going on and on. I do agree. I do agree that that's a very negative mm. aspect of the whole, you know, social media thing. But I also think it's being fueled by where the world is going now, which I mentioned with the corona and being inside. Yes, you may drop your phone. Yes, you may try and what? 
do other things. But then you wound up doing social things remotely or from a distance where, for example, you watch TV or you watch a movie together with somebody in a different country and yeah, you discuss. Nice. I mean, that's nice. It's still screens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just think like being outside, going for a walk. I mean, in Ghana, it's a bit more difficult because during the day it's really hot. But like at the beginning of the day or the end of the day, um, it's possible to do things without screens. It's just that for me, it's very draining. That's why I find it hard. And I do, yeah. I, I just find, the, I see the keeping up in your behavior as well. So can I share about the notifications? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so before um, Kwame goes to sleep, so he checks his phone. He likes to be on his phone in bed. I've tried to fight it, but there's no way he's going to change that. So you have to give and take, right? And then the, the thing he cannot stand is, so he has all his social media apps in one, how do you say, square. So you have Twitter, Facebook, or all the whole da-di-da. And he cannot stand if he goes to bed and there are notifications. So if he sees red, um, yeah, how do you say, red notification, like four or five, something, something, he cannot stand it. He has to click on them. They have to disappear before he sleeps. I cannot comprehend <laughs> because honestly, tomorrow morning the same notifications will be there. Nobody gives a damn's ass whether you answer right at that moment or you. I'm not answering them. Morning. I just don't like seeing them. But that's also a, it's a thing, right? Yeah, like how how do you have like you look at somebody's phone and you see him like, whoa! How do you have thousand and something on red emails? And then when it comes to WhatsApp, that's where you have the issue I'm saying, but it's not the same. But I'm just saying that you, you see I, somebody's yeah. WhatsApp and it's like, red. No, no, no. I don't, I don't, like I don't read them. I don't 100, read them. 200, 400, 500 on WhatsApp. How, how are you ignoring people like that? How is that even possible? But it's not about ignoring. It's just that's how these machines are made. That's how these programs are made. The red thing is supposed to throw you off. Yes, I saw that on the social... Yeah. Uh, uh, um, uh, what's that documentary? Yeah, like the uh, social... Dilemma. Media, the social dilemma, yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I mean, I'm just saying, I, I agree with a lot of things on social Everything dilemma. Everything is like... But what am I supposed for to do? Us I'm, to be I'm in the world. I'm stuck here. What yeah, am I supposed to do? I think it's good to sometimes take a, take a step back and see how you really feel about it. Because if you just keep going with it, you will get all this information. Sometimes... Okay, okay, let me... Uh, apply to myself sometimes you are on your phone and I hear things like there's a song or there's something and later I am somewhere else and I have this song stuck in my head it's got an earworm yes, but, <laughs> so can you imagine how many things we pick up consciously and unconsciously and we're not even we didn't even go into the topic of content yet so like there's so much toxic so maybe I should live on French playing thing so that you can unconsciously learn French. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to learn French, but it's been a rough ride because I can't seem to find a dedicated time outside of Why? my new job and making vlogs. Yeah, that too. Ah. Anyway, that's another conversation. Um, yeah, content wise, there's also a lot of things that you have to things. see through. Yeah, that's why I like, I really curated my um, Instagram, Instagram. to see the things you want to see. Yeah, and things that are, if people make me insecure, like make me question myself or my body or how I think. Even friends and family, you just unfollow. I unfollow. Yeah. Or I'm thinking like, we don't align in the things that we like. And not that everybody should align with me, but for me, Instagram is somebody where I meet like like-minded people. Yeah. And of course, I'm always up for dialogue, but if it makes me question my character or how I live to a certain extent that I'm comparing myself, then no, I'm not going to allow that. Unfollow, unfollow, unfollow. Well, yeah, I, I, I do the unfollowing sometimes too. But when it comes to mentally feeling pressured, I think the only pressure I feel is when um, my pressure comes from 
it's not even, I think it's good pressure for me. I consider it as inspiration. So I like to follow creatives. And when I see they're doing mm. stuff, I'm like, man. So there's a two, there's a two way thing. There's a, oh God, when? Like I really want to do some of this. And there's the, whoa, like this is what is possible. Like yeah. somebody like me is doing this good. Yeah, that sense of wonder, maybe. Yeah, like no, yeah. no, no. It's not even the wonder. It's like I'm inspired. I'm pumped. Like, yeah. whoa, people like me, like you know, who you know, I, the world doesn't consider as you know, top mm -hmm. top are doing amazing things, bro. I'm pumped. And then the other side is, ah, oh, man, I'm not patient enough to also wait for <laughs> my time. Yeah. So there's. But there's that element of comparison, like consciously or unconsciously, you are. Not longing, but you are, yeah, you are longing yeah. for what the other person is doing. And that on itself, I am having a lot of conversations with myself about that. Like, is that something we should nurture or not? I think, yes, competition and seeing that it is possible is good. But to the extent that we are exposed to all these people living all their lives and doing different things, and you're seeing only this much of their life, and then you still draw conclusions based on that or assumptions or like, Oh, I could do the same, but I'm not doing it because X, Y, Z. But you don't know the story of that person. That's yeah. why I like. So that's that's yeah. not, that's something that that's where mine comes in with work. Yeah. I don't care about the person's personality. I don't care about the travel they did. I don't care about how. Well, I care they about travel. I want to go everywhere. And then when you see people doing it like that, it makes it look so accessible. But it's not. You have to be smart. Yeah. Don't live above your wage and stuff. Yeah, I, I, I don't fall for that kind of influence. My influence is more like, oh, okay. Like, yeah. Oh, I like to dream about places we can still go to. I, I, I dream about the films I want to make. I dream about the crews I want to work with. I dream about the things I can create. Mm. Yeah. But I, I also know, I think for me, I also know that those things, even for those people, they don't, most of them don't own the things that they sh like, they use to create these amazing things, mm -hmm. they rent it. The things are too expensive. So yeah. I've accepted that. Mm -hmm. But I, I see the possibility of doing those things as well. Like, yeah, yeah working with other people and creating but amazing stuff. But how do you think that's uh, like the element of comparison or, well, it is an element of comparison because you're seeing something you wanted or you, you're also striving towards that, that goal or all these things. Yeah. So for me, that's, I'm wondering. How does it work? apply to us like maybe when people watch our youtube videos they're like oh wow they figured it out and they know how to talk to each other and all these things but honestly we like we do argue a lot we do have our own yeah. moments so for me that's why i may be so conscious of what i post and not post and that's why i'm struggling with it because you can only you it's such a one-dimensional thing like I like it when my friends watch our vlogs because it gives some insight into our lives, but I'm also like, it's YouTube, like it's me, but it's also a very fragmented part of me. Yeah. It's not me as a whole person. But that's why these conversations are good because for these conversations, we tell it as it is. We've yeah. let people know that we have insecurities and we have good parts of being on social media. Yeah. You yeah, know? so maybe that's the only thing you can do. Yeah. Yeah. So we're not out here, um, forming perfect couple. No. Well, We're telling sometimes people. I am worried that people, I would hate it for people to think like, oh, couple goals, because I'm not here to set any standard. Or oh, any goal. No, like I'm, I am, we are not goals. We are messy. <laughs> we are chaotic. <laughs> like, that for me, uh, that, sometimes that makes me freeze a little bit also with this YouTube, because I don't want to how to say give the people the wrong impression yeah and it's so powerful that people take everything on their own like you know subjective interpretation yeah like how people react to our comments they think they know us which i understand because you see quite a bit of us yeah but and i think but maybe i should ask my friends that meeting me in person is very different from meeting me in youtube ah my microphone it's fine, it's fine. um and that's the other thing. Okay, maybe that should be the last thing. Otherwise, this conversation goes really far. Probably we have to do a part two. Yeah. That people often assume when they see you in social media and all these things that they know you. But for me, that's balance between 
is it so little of somebody? Yeah. And not just know you, there are the other parts where the people feel like they are, um, they, they, beyond knowing you, they feel like they can also advise you on how to yeah, yeah, yeah. live. The access to is also Yeah, a they thing. feel like, oh, yeah. no, why are we not doing this? Why are we doing this? You should do it this way. Yeah. You should do it that way. Yeah, so for example, How there's like... uh, we had a few comments saying like that we should sit closer together. <laughs> like, why are we far apart? Why are we far apart? But obviously... And I'm, I'm just <laughs> telling, like, I was just telling Elaine that it's framing, like... No, but also... It doesn't even look good that you are clumped up. Honestly, like, how we are intimate together, it's not something that should be on YouTube. And I don't mean intimate necessarily, how, like, intimate to intimate as in naked bodies, but I mean how we are interacting when we're sitting on the couch or in being in the house. That's, that's not for YouTube. Yeah, and it even if you be. wanted to show it on YouTube, it should not be demanded that, A, why are people always, like, you know... Yeah, we should show more uh, love or something. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's these things, like, you think that this is how we always sit or talk, it's, it's like, Not at all. And it, it's not even functional, it's not even practical. And for the kind of videos we do, we often, um, what is the word? I, I keep, I was going to use off, offload. <laughs> unpack. Unpack, yeah. Yeah, we often unpack our experiences in conversation. That's basically what we do. And conversation, usually, you, you can't have, like, we're not doing, when we're doing activities outside, it's usually travel and telling you what, what we do and everything. And we're having conversation. It's, it doesn't make sense to be having conversation and just, I, I don't know what you're looking for, honestly. Like, being in each other's faces and yeah. how does that even add up to the conversation? Yeah, and yeah. And also, uh, there was, some, I think you had a few comments about uh, uh, are you already back from Netherlands? Well, it, so apparently they saw your social media or something and they expected that you were there for long. Well, so people see a certain thing and then they draw conclusions and then they start acting on those conclusions. Well, for me, I really try, if people, if I see posts from friends and everything, I see them, I like them, and then I start a conversation about it. So I'm like, hey, how are you doing? I saw this on, on, on IG, like, uh, cool you've been here and here what, what was the occasion like you know just to be more curious instead of drawing conclusions, conclusions. On so basically. curiosity ask the question yeah like to find answers rather than rather like make it you know, a starting point yeah instead of i think this video is a very judging. long video but people like to judge too so maybe that's why should we stop it here okay so i think we came to the conclusion <laughs> Or this video is the starting point <laughs> of the effects should, of social media. Yeah, maybe we should do another video on social media because there are so many elements to it. Yeah, we'll uh, find yeah. we'll find different ways to unpack some of the experiences as well. But I would also be curious to read a little bit how you use social media and how, like you as in how it you enhances your watching. life yeah. and how it affects you negatively. But also positively, like... That's what I'm saying, how it enhances your life. Oh, it enhances, yeah. Okay. Yes. Enhances. How it enhances your life enhances, and how it affects... elevates. And how it affects you negatively. We want to yeah. know that too. So we can maybe talk about that in the next video. Yeah. In a follow-up video, not in the next video. Yes. In a follow-up video another time. Yeah. Yeah. And then we can talk about the one time you forgot your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I survived. Okay, okay, I survived. So yeah, please, like this video. Subscribe, like, comment, comment. and we'll catch you in the, the next, next one. video. Bye. Yes, Doei. and we also want to know. You, you're not, you forgot your sign out. Dag lieve mensen. Yes. <laughs> now we can finish. <laughs>